because it, it's going to affect just not only the football programs and uh, obviously but where that's where all these colleges generate their money and if you look at it from a you know from that length of, of time the, the the colleges especially what they bring in especially these large universities it's going to have some effect on that part of, of college and what what's that going to mean you know long term for a lot of these schools you know my son Alec is a student up at uh, Hope College in Michigan and uh, like some of these other schools now they are uh, being they're they're testing them for COVID um, they, they want to get a kind of a zero baseline um, which I think is really 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 helpful and well uh, and they've got it seems like they have a really good system in play now like that school up there at Hope they they've all already suspended their fall season of sports obviously the sports doesn't generate as much money like it would in some of these bigger conferences but um, you know I there's a lot of things in play right now so hopefully we'll, we'll see what happens come this winter um, hopefully we'll we'll have some sort of winter season for, for these kids who have spent their life uh, prepping to, to, to be an athlete um, I just go back to what Mariah and Matt said the other night in the podcast which I think it's it's very uh, interesting because um, you know they can see how things are a little different now that they've been away from the game but when you're immersed in that right now and you're 19 20 21 years old and you spent your whole time uh, really really aiming toward goals um, this coming to kind of an abrupt end so I, I feel for these athletes all right speaking of other athletes um, the Cleveland Indians uh, Indians play the uh, Chicago Cubs would you like to sit down Grant, Grant's going to join us again. I, you you want to say hi to everybody on, on Facebook Live? Yes, yeah, say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Go Cleveland. Go <laughs> That's right. That's right. So, um, speaking of other athletes here for the Indians, you know, they, they played the Cubs last night. They lost 7-1. to one. It actually was the first game that the Indians pitching had, had given up more than four runs in a game. Uh, the Cubs just played the Indians well ever since, you know, we had the um, – uh, World Series back in 2016. I'm still angry about that loss, but um, they they just beat up uh, Adam Pletko was our pitcher. Now Mike Clevenger was scheduled to be the pitcher that night, but he and Zach Plesac now are on the restricted list, uh, which is not good for either one of them. Um, after Zach Plesac came out and said that he had gone out uh, with some family when he was in Chicago, it came out then the next day that uh, Clevenger was with him did not share that information was not honest and upfront with the cleveland indians organization actually flew back with the team had not told anybody yet um so he's in a in a in a boatload of trouble and uh you know rightfully so and you know after everything that they've said and if you've watched any interviews of them from the past and with everything with their fellow teammates like carlos carrasco who happens to be pitching tonight um who had leukemia you know has a has a an immune system that that is can be compromised it's just just boneheaded stupid you know you it, and, and they're young i get that but um just just a terrible mistake on, on oh there there goes grant see you grant grant is leaving the stage uh, he might be back we'll find out but um he enjoyed his sprite he was excited he got to drink his sprite today i have my coffee by the way um i don't know if you can see the mug here on uh our johnny cleveland coffee mug it is a little hot to drink be drinking coffee right now about 10 30 in the morning but um, i think i'm on my fourth cup if you can tell but um <laughs> so i you know with what's going on with clevenger and, and police act i'm i'm very concerned about i mean are they going to be welcome back to the indians or not they put them on the restricted list which is very unusual that's not one of those uh those are spots where they they put players they can't be signed by another team unless there's um some sort of other circumstance but basically they're put on there if, if they get in trouble kind of like other players like the Browns have played like I think of like Josh Gordon being on a, on a restricted list with with the Browns you want to sit down Grant has joined us again you want to say hi to everybody again hi everybody. <laughs> so um, you know we'll see what happens but this is really hurting the Indians I mean they have this this great group of starting pitchers um, and now we've just taken two of those pitchers away. And, you know, Adam Pletko pitched a good game last night, uh, but only got through four four innings. It wasn't awesome. Uh, our relievers didn't help much. Um, Adam Pletko came out after the game, and he was very straightforward with his uh, te teammates that are on, on restricted list right now by saying, um, basically, tell us, uh, they need to tell us what they're going to do to fix the problem 
and I don't need to help them out with that and basically told both those players that they need to grow up and uh, so he was pretty straightforward and I think a lot of the Indians have had it they had I know a, 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 a player only meeting on, on the field um, last night or last night before the game uh, Frankie Lindor uh, we had Tito back uh, our coaches back and so that's that's good to have you got a bug yeah. Grant Grant doesn't like bugs if you're watching this on Facebook live uh, he also likes spinners so he's currently spinning one of his uh, he's he's amazing with his spinners but now he's putting it away in his pocket if you're listening to it on the podcast all right so so what 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 now Grant what do you think we should talk about next do you think the Indians are going to win tonight yeah. yeah they play the Chicago Cubs so tonight they have Carlos Carrasco pitching um, for the Indians and uh, hopefully they'll they'll turn it around you know we're 10 wins seven losses or 10 wins eight losses right now um, still haven't heard about the St. Louis Cardinals I know I talked about that on the last podcast um, I think they were uh, you know still contemplating were they going to be able to continue to have a season for the Cardinals were was Major League Baseball going to have to get rid of them um, and, and realign the rest of the schedule because they'd have so many makeup games so we'll see what happens I, I certainly hope that the Cardinals can still continue to play um, but the Major League Baseball has some real decisions to make. So, all right. Well, we're going to leave uh, this uh, morning. I'm very glad that you could join us here on uh, Facebook Live. And uh, yes, have you enjoyed being out here, Grant? Yes. No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Grant Grant has been wanting to come out here before, and so we're really happy to have him. Um, we'll see what happens with college sports. Keep keep uh, looking. Uh, through that and we'll come back to you on Friday uh, with with more probably talk about college football and hopefully the Indians can turn around tonight and get a win I hope you all have a good Wednesday and uh, we'll uh, talk to you Friday but until then remember to keep smiling take care everybody you want to say goodbye to everybody Bye, everybody. Say, say goodbye to everybody. Bye, <laughs> say smile. Oh, with with the bug. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for joining us. I hope you all have a good day. Take care.